Guys, I know you have been waiting very long for this video. Those who have won my YouTube one-to-one -one lucky draw. So since I have their permission to show you their savvy access worksheet, uh, what they wish to do with their current assets, I'll be touching step by step. In this video, I'll be sharing a few profiles. And it's good that you can use these few examples for your own reference. And you can learn based on your assets, based on your profile, based on your income, how much you can buy and what are the properties that you can buy at which area. So if you want to know more, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's check out the first winner. We have Ethan. Then I asked him, are you buying your first property? Yes, first property. This is the savvy access worksheet that he sent me. So he's 34 years old, income 14,003, wife not working. Ethan has 65,000 CPF OA and his savings, he has 310,000. Total assets, 375,000. For 375,000, what's the maximum purchase price that you can buy? So you can look at the last option three can buy up to 1.33 million let's check out how much loan he can get his income is 14,003 and for bank loan usually they will take in his bonus for the previous year but since i do not have his noa 2023 numbers i will just use this income assume 500 dollars commitment and let's see how much loan he can get so he can get 1.42 million worth of loan based on 4.7 percent stress test if you have watched my previous bad news video we have learned that most of the banks in Singapore has already increased their stress test from 4% to some of them 4.5 to even 5% as their stress test right now. So I'll be using 4.7% to calculate. The maximum purchase price is 1.89 million. Either you can buy a 3 bed 3 bath or 4 bed 3 bath in OCR. Or you can also get 3 bed 2 bath in City Fringe. So these are the three choices you can go for. Although based on his income, he can buy up to 1.89 million. But however, based on his funds, he can only buy up to 1.33 million. So at 1.33 million, you cannot buy 3 bed 3 bath condos anymore, even in OCR. The bigger size that you can buy is only 3 bed 2 bath XEC in OCR. If he knows me just 6 months to 1 year before, at 1.33 million, there's still a possibility that you can buy a 3 bed 2 bath condo or a 3 bed 3 bath XEC. In summary, for Ethan's case or anyone here who has this budget, 1.3 million, 1.35 million at this range, you know that you cannot wait because you are almost priced out of a 3 bedder anytime. Let's go for the next example. Ooh. Tell everyone this is boom boom. You sleep too much today. Yeah. Very so happy. Happy, happy, boom boom. Alright, you see his ears up so better, huh? Cute. <laughs> okay. Are <laughs> you? And this time we have the winner Koji Pan. His username is Koji Pan. And this property is a four-room flat at Tolo Blanga. And he sent me this selling price 980, outstanding loan. And husband, 33 years old, making 12,006, wife 31, making 9,000. After selling with the savings, he has a total assets of 937,000. This is very amazing for people less than 35. If I were to use all the funds, they can buy up to 3.26 million. To achieve 3.26 million, you need to get maximum loan for your two properties. So let's check out his affordability. Husband, 12,675. I don't know his bonuses for last year. So I'll just take this amount and assuming he has $500 commitment, he will be able to get 1.247 million using stress test of 4.7%. He can buy up to 1.663 million. And let's talk about what he can buy later. For the wife, 31 years old, 9,000. Loan can get about 858,000 based on 4.7% stress test. Purchase price up to 1.144 million. I did a scenario after he bought 1.65 million with the balance funds he can pass to the wife to show funds to get higher loan for higher purchase price. So with 150,000 show funds, the wife max budget for the next property will be 1.32 million instead of 1.144 million. For a total of 2.95 million, I will suggest the first one, own stay 1.65 million, will be a OCR 3 bed 3 bath. And the second property will be under wife for investment property 1.3 million, maximum OCR 3 bed 2 bath. Let's go through the monthly installment. For the own stay property, monthly installment based on 33 years, loan tenor, 
the installment is 5,380 based on current fixed rate of 3.65%. Anyone below 35 years old, I can do a max 33 years loan tenor. After deducting CPF 1250, cash flow per month will need to top up $4,130. For the investment property, 1.3 million. Rental income can get about 4,005. Money installment will be 4,250. And you still have CPF to pay for installment. That means you will get a cash flow of 1,005 every month. In summary, you pay $2,630 for these two properties. Let's see how much funds he will have left after buying these two properties. For the own state property at 1.65 million, his outlay will be 470,000. This amount includes everything, stamp duty, legal fees, everything all in 470,000. For the investment at 1.3 million, down payment will be 367,000 all in. And if you minus off from their total assets of 937,000, this means that they will have a balance of 100,000 cash and CPF. You can stick to this budget and portfolio because after buying these two, you still have 100,000 cash and CPF, which is a very healthy portfolio. But before you buy your first property at 1.65 million, every month you need to top up about 4,001. If you feel that this amount is good, you can stick to this budget of 1.65. If you feel that this budget is a bit too high for you, you can reduce accordingly. And then the second property, to get at least a 3 beta for investment, minimally you need to buy a budget of around 1.3 million. So guys, I hope that these few cases will give you some ideas and references for your own cases. So guys, if you want to know more about how I help my one-to-one -to, -one to achieve their properties, you can contact this number below, which I will put it in the comment section. My team will give you the one-to-one -one information. And coming to my one-to-one -one is I will guide you all the way until you have achieved your property portfolio. Next, we have Andrew who is also a winner for the YouTube one-to-one. -one. Property is currently Treasure Trove. And he sent me his amazing spreadsheet. Andrew is 46, income 10,000. Why 46, income about 7,008. I remember he told me that this current Treasure Trove is under his wife's name. And his name is not in this current property. And he is looking to buy his first investment property under his name. So let's look at his spreadsheet. This is the numbers for Treasure Trove at around 1.5 million. Yeah. Guys, do you see his savings or not? 1.08 million savings eh. Then why you haven't buy your second property? What are you waiting for, my friend? His name is not in the property. That means he has 350,000 CPF plus 1 million savings to buy his second property. So let's check out his affordability first. Based on his age 46, income 10,000. I don't know his bonus, so I'll just use his income and I just assume his commitment is $500 and he will be able to loan 753,000. That means purchase price up to a million. And because he has so much savings, he can show funds of 900,000 to max budget of 1.62 million. What can you buy with 1.62 million? There are only two choices. Number one, you cannot buy 4 beta. you can only buy 3 bed 3 bath in OCR and 2 bed 2 bath in City Fringe. So Andrew, quickly go and buy lah because you, since it's for investment, you have so many choice for you to buy. And whatever you buy, the renter can more or less cover your total installment. Why do I say that? Let me show you the numbers. When you buy a 1.6 million investment property, rental, you should be able to get 5,000. Your money installment will be 5,006 based on 3.65% fixed rate at a 29 years loan tenor. Yes, you heard it correct. If you are 46 years old, the maximum loan tenor I can do for you is 29 years. And not to forget, you have CPF that you can use to pay installment will be 1250 and positive cash flow of $650. Let's look at how much funds he will have left. To buy 1.6 million, down payment 455,000 includes everything. And remember, he has 1 million cash, 300 over 1,000 CPF and 150,000 stock. So if I don't count in his stocks, uh, he will have 978,000 cash left. So Andrew, I really hope that you can buy your investment property as soon as possible because you can see here is positive cash flow, high capital gains, and you still have more than 1 million cash and stocks in your portfolio. Guys, I hope you love all these examples. There are more case study coming up. So remember to stay subscribed and I will see you in my next video.